Welcome to Real Physics. This is a series of short clips about key experiments in physics. And today I want to talk about the photoelectric effect. Now, this is nothing unusual. People investigated how light would influence metals. And if you just let radiation go onto a metal surface, it's not very surprising that electrons could be freed by this radiation. However, there was a peculiarity and it seemed to depend on the color or the wavelength of the light and totally independent of the intensity, which is very counterintuitive because you can put a lot of intensity with red light and nothing happens. And you just, on the other hand, just a tiny intensity with the right wavelength, with a shorter wavelength, would cause the electrons to leave the metal lattice. This was very surprising. And as I said, Hertz performed it in 1887 and then other physicists refined it and developed it. But the experiment is famous not so much for the discoverer, but for the interpretation. And as you might know, Einstein interpreted it in 1905 for the first time in the right way. He said, yes, it seems that light contains energy in a quantized form, the quanta depending on the frequency and Planck's constant discovered in 1900, some years before. This was very revolutionary and Planck, of all people, was very reluctant to that interpretation. He said Einstein is a very creative physicist, a bright mind, but in this case he just went too far. He exaggerated his creativity by postulating these light quanta. And of course, I mean, to put up with the fact that in one experiment light behaves as a wave and in the other experiment it behaves as a particle is something that deeply troubled physicists this at the beginning of the 20th century. And on the other hand, you had also electrons behaving as particles and behaving as waves in other experiments. And this was very disconcerting. And I would even argue it might be that it's not fully understood to this day. People usually phrase it as the wave-particle dualism, but maybe both concepts, be it a wave and be it a particle, might be ill-posed if you go, if you go to the micro world. And we might as well wander. And maybe the better question would be why there are so distinct phenomena as light and matter. And well, as a historical detail. It's one of the most consequential experiments. It's famous not for the discoverer, but for the man who interpreted it in the right way. And it is this interpretation that made Planck's constant famous, who was very reluctant, called it an auxiliary quantity, in German Hilfsgröße for H. Well, an irony, I guess, of history that Einstein received the Nobel Prize in 1921 for this interpretation. And he was also awarded the Planck Medal from Planck. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. And if you're interested in fundamental physics, subscribe to this channel.